Welcome back to my channel, Crafty Friends. I am here with a uh, video response reveal for uh, Mommy and Me Craft. She's hosting a um, spring fling, um, spring tote um, challenge. And the requirements are to create a spring tote uh, that Christian with Christian's Crafty Adventures uh, created. And... Um, Put inside the tote uh, sunnies, which are sunglasses, a ribbon trim sample, a bead dangle, pin or pokey tool, a small trinket box, a memory dex card, sequence mix, handmade card, a pendant flag or wand, and then create one of those also for the hostess because she doesn't want the entire um, um a tote per se. She just wants, you know, one small little hostess gift. So... Um, I followed the um, tutorial um, and instead of using regular paper, I used pom-poms. And so I'll show you the tote. We'll fill the tote up in a minute. Uh, but these were the sunglasses that I'm going to be including in the, in the tote. So these are by um, Packed Party. I think I got these either at Target or Walmart. I don't remember. And I just added uh, some rolled flowers to the... Uh, sunglasses so we have to alter them or you know embellish them make them make them cute for our swap partner so I was excited about uh, including these because they do shake and they do have some really cool glitter inside so those are really fun so those are my sunglasses that I'm going to include uh, this is the um, pennant flag that um, I'm going to include in the tote as well now this is uh, scrap divas wave flag and then I just added it to a Michael's uh, pick stick that has uh, bunny ears so I thought that was really fun um, way to showcase that my ribbon trim sample I just added it on a like a tag and just wrapped my ribbon around it and so these are the ribbons that I'm going to be sharing and just added a little cabbage on to the top of that and just bagged it up. And I left everything, trying to leave everything clear because she wants to be able to show uh, what we created. So I put everything in clear baggies. This is my pokey tool that I've created. Um, my pen. It's either a pen or pokey tool, but I, I did a little extra. I did both since, you know, all I did was add a... Um, this is another die from Scrap Diva, the pin top, the uh, straw topper. So I added that, and this is my handmade card, and it just says hello. And I picked it up on some foam and made a cute little bunny bow. Added a cute little bunny bow on here, and and I think I put in there some. Inside, I stamped um, "Somebody loves you." <laughs> I thought that was cute. Uh, so that's stamped inside of the card. So that's going to be my card. Um, this is my memory decks. I used a, this is um, KS Crafts uh, cute little bunny. I think he is just adorable. He is adorbs. Look at him. He's so stinking cute. And they also, th this die also has little, uh, another cut out with like eyelashes. So if you wanted to make her into a little girl and add a cute little bow. So I think I'm going to make some little girls, some little girl bunnies next. And then I added some uh, diamond dots all around here as well. And the embellishment box. This is my embellishment box. And I just added some ruffle trim, some of those little cabbage on eggs from uh, Hobby Lobby. And this is a uh, Chaos Crafts die, which is a bag topper die, but I just used it as a, a bow and added a little bunny uh, embellishment. And these are all of the goodies, because I already taped it up, but these are all the little goodies and added some um, ribbon bows in there, just some something to share with my uh, swap partner. And the sequence mix, this is a sequence mix, and I'm going to add... Um, a spoon with it as well so I just added a bunch of yummies in here so she said to to include you know quite a bit in there and look there's some little bunnies in there there's like little eggs and there's different sequins and glitter and seed beads and just really really fun so I did that um, 
and I'm going to be gifting uh, her a pair of sunglasses as well, the hostess, a pair of sunglasses. And this is the bag that I created, guys. I made it out of pom-poms. I thought this was so stinking cute. I don't know if you can see it, but it is freaking adorable. I added feet to it, and it's, I added a clear pocket to put my sunnies. Uh, yeah, I just loaded it up full of pom-poms. Because I didn't, I didn't, <laughs> as I was crafting the other night with Meliza, I realized I didn't have any spring paper. We're just like, I don't have spring paper. So I figured I'd just make something springy and, and fun, make like a little uh, tote bag out of pom-poms. So let me know what you think about this bag. Uh, if you all want a tutorial on how I made the um, stuff, the pom-poms in here. Uh, again, I followed Christian's tutorial, but I just, instead of using paper, I used um, a photo sleeve and added the pom-poms to it. So everything fits in here. I already include, I already put everything in here. So I'm going to include the, um, the sunnies here on the side on my clear pocket, my card, my ribbon trim is going to go in here, the memory decks card, the flag, my sequence spoon, my sequence can go in the back, my pokey tool can go in here, and my little extra pen that I'm including. So yeah, that is going to be the tote that I'm going to be submitting uh, and for my uh, challenge for Mommy's Me Spring Tote Challenge. So let me know what you think down in the comments below and I will catch you on the next video. Talk to you later. Bye.